Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Rob, and today we have the Aperion Audio Nova 6T Towers. And in this video, I have just one question that I'm gonna to try to answer today, and that is, are these the best speakers for movies and music? We'll stick around and we'll try to answer that question right after the intro. The Nova 6T Towers are Aperion Audio's new flagship speakers in their Novus line, which is the same series that we reviewed in a previous video. We took a look at the Novus N5B bookshelf speakers along with the N5C center channel and the A5 Atmos height speakers. And of course, if you're interested in checking out that video, we'll leave a link in the description below. Now, before we jump in and talk about whether or not these are actually the best speakers for movies and music, Let's take a look at the Novus 6Ts and see what's so special about them. The Novus line of speakers achieves its great sound quality by incorporating high quality components like their one inch German made ferrofluid cooled silk dome tweeter, which can handle high volumes and extend all the way up to 30,000 Hertz. For bass and mid range drivers, the 6Ts are equipped with dual six and a half inch aramid fiber cone woofers and just in case you're not familiar with aramid fiber, it's actually used in aerospace and military applications for making things like bulletproof vest and fireproof clothing for firefighters. And because of its super lightweight and strength, it makes for a great material to make a speaker cone. These drivers offer very transparent, effortless sound, which is partly due to these lightweight cones. Another thing that I really like with these drivers is the way Aperion Audio uses these unique tooled rubber surrounds to conceal the driver's mounting screws. I think this looks really cool and shows a lot of attention to detail on Aperion's part. Underneath the drivers themselves, you can see the chamfered slotted port design that Aperion Audio uses on pretty much all of their Novus line of speakers. This is designed to eliminate any kind of noise and we can confirm that we never heard any port chuffing while watching movies or listening to music. Moving around to the back of the Nova 6T, you get a pair of really nice, high quality five-way binding posts, and above those is the minus three dB tweeter level adjustment. We listen to the speakers with these both in and out, and we'll talk a little bit about the differences in a minute. To keep these speakers stable and anchored to the floor, Aperion included these really nice aluminum feet which can be used with or without the included floor spikes. As far as the finish of these speakers go, the Nova 6Ts are available in either stealth black or the finish that we have, which is pure white. Personally, I love the matte finish with both of these colors as they're durable and they don't show fingerprints like a glossy black finish would. I feel like Aperion Audio has hit a home run in regards to the looks and build quality of these speakers. We especially like the contoured edges unlike other manufacturers who have a very sharp and boxy look to their speakers. Another thing that sets these speakers apart is their small size. For a tower speaker, they're actually pretty slim and lightweight, weighing in at about 35 pounds, making placement much easier than it would be with most other tower speakers. Now, usually I recommend trying to avoid lighter speakers, but don't let the 35 pound weight of the Nova 6T towers fool you because there's a lot more going on here than meets the eye. By designing cabinets that are braced in all the critical areas, Aperion Audio is able to build a cabinet just as rigid and strong, while at the same time reducing weight and materials. This is all thanks to their extensive research and engineering, and better yet, they were able to do this without compromising sound quality at all. And we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get into the sound quality part of our review. Another great thing that Aperion Audio does with all of their speakers, except for their subwoofers, are these awesome lightweight magnetic grills that are easy to remove and put back on. Looking at the numbers for the Nova 6T towers, we have a frequency response of 32 Hertz to 30,000 Hertz, plus or minus 3 dB, a sensitivity of 89 dB, which is actually pretty good, and a recommended amplifier rating of 20 to 160 watts RMS. One thing we really want to point out here is that these speakers have a nominal impedance of 4 ohms. The great thing about 4 ohm speakers is like in our situation, when we added a pair of Marantz monoblocks later in our testing, it effectively raised the power output of the amps from 125 watts RMS power at 8 ohms 
all the way up to 180 watts RMS at four ohms. But we're getting a little ahead of ourselves here. So to test the sound quality of these speakers, we started with our Yamaha RX V663 AV receiver, just to get an idea of how these speakers would sound with a pretty good middle of the road receiver. And the first thing we noticed with the Yamaha was that it sounded great. But as we started cranking the volume beyond reference level, the sound started to get just a little bit bright for our tastes. Now stick with us here because this wasn't for the reason that you might be thinking. To try to remedy the situation, the first thing we did was to remove the tweeter adjustment jumper, which basically lowers the volume of the tweeter by 3 dB without actually changing the overall sound signature of the speaker. And here, you can actually see the difference the jumper makes in these measurements that we took, as well as the overall frequency response of these speakers in our room. Now, movies and music sounded really good in this configuration, but it wasn't until we added in our Marantz monoblocks that we realized it wasn't the speakers giving us the bright sound at high volumes, it was actually the lack of current coming from our receiver. After adding the Marantz monoblocks to the setup and putting the tweeter jumper back in, we noticed a big improvement to the sound quality, and the speakers sounded even warmer and smoother, but at the same time had even more detail almost as if you had lifted a veil off the speakers. The difference in sound quality was honestly amazing. But before we dig any deeper into the sound quality of these speakers, I wanna talk a little bit about the significance of a four ohm speaker and nominal impedance in general. When we say a speaker is rated to have an impedance of four ohms, we're saying that the average nominal impedance of the speaker lies somewhere around four ohms. However, speakers are not completely linear and at certain frequencies can have a much higher or lower impedance. Now, as the impedance of your speakers go down, the amount of current it pulls from the amplifier increases, which is why the wattage the amplifier produces actually goes up. And that explains why we notice such a big improvement in sound after adding the Marantz monoblocks, which can supply more current without straining like our Yamaha did. As we said before, these speakers sounded great just running through our Yamaha, but if you really want to hear the best of what the Nova 6T towers have to offer, then we would suggest upgrading somewhere down the line to an amplifier that is rated to run a 4 ohm load. And this brings up another good point of how just changing a single link in the chain between your source and your speakers can make it sound like you have a completely different setup entirely. The chain is only as strong, or in this case, as good sounding as its weakest link. So staying with that train of thought, we also tried changing a couple of other links in the chain by replacing the Yamaha receiver and Marantz amps with our Integra processor and Emotiva 200 watt monoblocks. We think this was the best example yet of just how revealing these speakers can be. This combination was incredible and gave us the chance to really evaluate the true sound quality of these towers. The mids and highs of the Nova 6Ts were honestly breathtaking. There are many times while listening that I actually got goosebumps, and that's something that usually only happens when I listen to my Vandersteens, which come in at over double the price. Female voices were also exceptional, sounding very clean and natural. The soundstage was three-dimensional and seemed to have multiple layers. I could literally hear instruments behind other instruments placed in various spots around the room. Bass response was tight and articulate with super fast transient response. And I was really surprised by just how much clean quality bass these speakers were pumping out considering they only have six and a half inch drivers. All of these things come together to make a very lively musical sounding speaker that I thoroughly enjoyed listening to with all sorts of different content. And honestly, I like these speakers so much that I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is and purchase the 6T Towers and the Nova Center Channel. These will be replacing my SVS Prime Center and bookshelves that I've been using in my living room theater because quite honestly, as good as the SVS LCR system might be, I think these speakers are on a completely different level when it comes to sound and build quality. So I guess what I'm trying to say here is these are some of the best sounding speakers I've heard at this price point, whether it be for music or movies. 
In fact, I haven't heard a pair of speakers at this price that even comes close to the sound quality that we were hearing out of the Nova 6Ts. Now, of course, I haven't heard every speaker out there, and there could come a day that I come across a pair that outperforms these. But rest assured, we'll let you know if we do, so make sure you subscribe just in case that ever happens. And with that, I think it's time to wrap up this video. We want to give a big thanks to Aperion Audio for giving us the opportunity to review the Nova 6T Towers, and we really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to check out the Nova 6Ts on Aperion Audio's website and get 10% off your next purchase, go ahead and use our link below and add our promo code TGT10 at checkout. Let us know if you have any questions or comments on the Aperion Audio Nova 6T Towers, and we'll do our best to help you out. If you want to talk more about home theater, technology, or anything else related to those topics, we have a Discord server now, which you can find a link to in the description below, so go ahead and go check that out. If you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our future content. And as always, have an awesome day.